crime is exploding across the country. It's gotten so bad, many of us feel like it'll take a miracle to bring order back to the streets. Well, a miracle happened this week, just after midnight in Dallas, Texas, when a gun-toting thug tried to rob my dear friend, a wildly accomplished soul and pop singer. Her name is Leslie Austin. Well, he tried to rob her at gunpoint as she was walking to the front door of her home. He grabbed her from behind, arm around her neck, with a gun to her head, facing the prospect of death. She literally called on Jesus. And what happened is proof in my mind that God is very real. She shot this video moments after the attempted robbery and posted it on Facebook. Here's some of it. I open the passenger door and I get down on my knees and I'm just saying, I'm like, please, in the name of Jesus, I'm begging you, please, why are you doing this? And he holds his gun at my face and says, I have a gun and can kill you right now. And I was just said, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And the guy, as he's turned the ignition on, stops, puts his head down for a minute, pulls the key out, throws it, throws my purse. And he's like, I'm not taking any of it. Gets out of my car and just walks away walks away that folks is powerful testimony so powerful i invited my friend that woman you just saw there uh to come on the program tonight she made that video moments after the attempted robbery well she joins me now from dallas just a few blocks away from me singer songwriter leslie austin is here leslie welcome and i am so glad that you are okay thank you so am i <laughs> it's hard to watch so, that back did you, did you think to call for Jesus? How did this happen? I mean, it's really all you were saying the entire time. Yeah, well, you, you don't really, <clears throat> when this happens, you kind of imagine if this ever happens to you that you'll be prepared and say and do all these things. But when, when I felt someone jump on my back, uh, at first I thought someone was just Maybe someone I knew was playing a joke, and then he, when the arm came around my throat and I saw and felt the gun at my head, I realized, um, sorry, <laughs> still a little fresh. Um, I realized that, you know, okay, I'm about to die. So at that moment, you kind of almost go unconscious. Like, you don't know really what you're saying or doing. You don't think about what you're doing. You just do. You're like your body just does something and your something just comes out of your mouth. And all of it started coming out of my mouth was in the name of Jesus, because I know there's power in the name of Jesus. And I pray all the time in my head anyway. And all that I could get out was that I just started saying in the name of Jesus, yeah. in the name of Jesus. And uh, the guy, you know, you know he Leslie, pushed me off. Leslie. He, he, yes. he ends up pushing you off, takes your stuff, goes to the car. Now, I scolded you for going to the car, but while he's in the driver's seat, you walk around to the passenger side, which I don't recommend anyone do. Um, yeah. But you open the door and you fall to your knees. Do you think God was with you? You had said this is proof that angels exist. He pointed the gun at your head before turning and walking away. Is this proof to yeah. you? Oh, I mean, I already knew, I already knew beyond a doubt that God was real, but to see him manifest the way he did his power, I mean, I, my body just walked towards the car. I know that's not a wise thing to do, but I just had no control. I walked over to the car, opened the passenger door and dropped to my knees. So he knew I wasn't coming at him. And I just started pleading with him and he's got the car on and should have been leaving by now. And I just said, I looked right at him and, I, and he pointed the gun at me and said, I have a gun. I can kill you right now. And I just said, I'm begging you in the name of Jesus. Please, I'm begging you in Jesus' name. And he just, everything stopped. Like the guy could not move anymore. He put his head down, threw everything on the ground. He said, I'm not taking any of it and gets up and walks away. Well, you posted this video right after this. Uh, if you can for me real quickly. What was the reasoning for posting the video? I actually didn't post it the night it happened. I felt led. I felt like the Lord just compelled to record a video right after it happened. I didn't know if I was going to use it. And uh, the next day I was going to post one where I wasn't crying and wiping my nose just, you know, to tell people what happened because I feel like 
specifically God allowed this to happen so that I would tell the story to a lot of people so they would know beyond a shadow of a doubt he's real. Because for some people, it takes a miracle yeah. for them to, to believe. Well, this is uh, certainly more proof in my mind that uh, God is absolutely real. And, and you know, Leslie, there's an old saying, you were lucky to be alive. Lucky was a racehorse at Belmont. You, Leslie, are blessed to be alive. And uh, thank God for that, because you're my friend, and I'd be very upset if you weren't here with us. Leslie Austin, thank you for coming on tonight. Thank you, Grant. God bless you. <laughs> All right. God you got it. Thank you. You heard her. Sure is. COVID raging through.